Sonic has been the masterpiece for 2D platformers for 26 years now. He has shown Nintendo who's boss, but literally taken away 55% of their video game sales. But when Mario made the leap to 3D, it was a masterpiece. Then two years later, Sonic jumped to 3D and he practically fell down the stairs, becoming the laughing stock of 3D platformers. Until now, clickbait! So while most of you nerds were playing Cupsoles and Memecraft, I've been eating Szechuan chips and anticipating Sonic Forces. But as the time was getting closer to the game's release, I was starting to get very skeptical about the ratings from the people that got to play the game early. But this isn't a review about other people's opinions. Let's open this baby up and see for ourselves. All right, we have garbage, uh, sort of garbage, the Edgelord DLC pack, and finally the game. The story is simplistic, but spoilers are ahead. So basically, Eggman made Infinite, or the Captain of Squad Jackal, the most powerful being in existence, manipulating the power of illusion and telepathy. Sonic got his butt kicked by an Infinite and got captured. And then, of course, he escapes because he's Sonic. Also, classic Sonic's there. For only fan service. Ugh. And now you get to make a custom character that goes on the path of being a... Rookie? To a master. I had a lot of great moments with this game, like grinding down rails, the music is fairly well done, maybe a couple that are a bit obscure. This is a new genre of music, I call it gothic, death metal, punk, techno rock. <laughs> great different approach to the Sonic story formula, it seemed really compelling and was different than the other games. But even though there seems to be a lot of positives, there are so many negatives that countered the positives. There was in total 53 levels, including the secret, extra, and DLC levels, and only three of them I thought stood out and were cool. The rest felt like a copy and paste of each other, or just lazily put together just to put it out there. The controls feel stiff, the movement feels stiff, and the gameplay in general seems stiff. The ending felt so unsatisfying, Hey, I, I think it's worse than the Mario Odyssey ending, I'm not even joking you. The playability is minimalistic after the main story campaign and the Shadow DLC. Literally collecting the red stars don't do anything. Well, I don't know. Like, does it make you supersonic? Who knows? Literally no one knows. Also, they use too much. 2D gameplay, that was so consistent. I want to be, if it's a 3D platforming Sonic game, I want to be the majority of the time in 3D. Overall, I was let down and kind of knew that this would happen. Literally, I said two months ago on Twitter prior to the game's release that it was going to either be good or boring. And sadly, it was boring, or more appropriately for this video, it sucked. Wait, uh, spoiler again. At the end, Infinite was nowhere to be seen. So if he's not out of the Sonic universe, where is he? Oh no! Until the-